What's up everybody, this your boy Trayvon here with Santal TV and today I'm going to do a first impression on three cheapies. One of them I got at like my Macy's backstage area. One of them I also got from, well both of them, the other two I got from Marshalls. But without further ado, let's just jump into it. So we're going to start off with this one from the house of Kenneth Cole and this is a 2023 release. It was released recently, not too long ago. Uh, this is Kenneth Cole's Midnight, well Midlight, no, Moonlight Blue. Goodness gracious, Moonlight Blue. This fragrance ran me $25 and some change. And there you go. Here is the bottle. This is the same typical style Kenneth Cole bottle that you guys seen before. Nothing too different. It's just a very dark navy bluish type of a texture. It looks like an all black bottle, but it's actually a dark blue bottle. But anyway, let's just jump into it. The atomizer needs some work big time. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This? My friends and family is dope. This is insanely dope. This has a pottery and broxen type of a smell to it. That's like laundry detergent potteriness, fresh and blue, yet a soft, sweet blue, fresh scent. That is remarkable. Very, very remarkable so far. This here is flooding my mind with familiarities to a lot of fragrances that I have already in my collection, starting with one of them. This fragrance here reminds me so much of Dior Sauvage EDT, as well as Blue de Chanel by Chanel. If you were to take those two fragrances and merge them together, you will get this with more added, like, you know, powderiness, fresh laundry detergent type of uh, powderiness on top of those uh, familiarity uh, aspects of fragrances of Dior Sauvage and Blue de Chanel. You would get both in this. First impression, in my opinion, this is what you get and it smells awesome. It's also reminded me of another fragrance. I'm just, I just can't put my hands on it right now, but man, this is slapping so far. However, though, it is sitting fairly close to my skin already, but it's still giving, I'm still getting like, you know, wafts of it as I'm moving my hands around doing these motions like this. I'm still getting a lot of wafts of it. So this is like a, uh, like a spring and summertime fragrance, you know, in the nighttime. You can pull this off in the fall time at night because it doesn't really have like a summery spring type of aspect to it but it does have that freshness to pull off in like you know warm weather conditions at least at night in the warm weather conditions but this man this is pretty nice i was not expecting it to smell this good yeah i can tell this is already a keeper in my book 25 hours of change and it's smelling like this Hopefully it performs well, but uh, so far the performance is average at least. It's not a beast, but for $25 of change and it's an average uh, performer, that's good enough for me, especially for a Kenneth Cole fragrance based on the way that it smells, is good enough for me. Like I said before, first impression, it reminds me of those two fragrances and it also reminds me of other fragrances as well within like the blue community of fragrances, but I cannot put my finger on what it smells like other than those two but man if you can find this for a decent price pick it up they're selling this fragrance full retail at jc penny for 90 bucks do not go that route if you go that route i'm going to be very disappointed in you whoever you are who decides to go that route i'm going to be very disappointed in you don't do that do not do that but on a side note this is pretty good I like this. So up next, I got this at my local Marshalls and the other one that I bought from this line was pretty nice. You know, it was decent, very familiar. And that's why I took it back. But from the house of Joseph Abu, this is called 
Be spoken. Well, be spoke. If that's how you pronounce it, be spoke. Whatever. On the back of this box here, you do have the notes listed at the bottom of the back of the box right here, which is pretty nice. This fragrance ran me $17 and some change. So I found this in a women's section, but it says men's on here. So it's basically saying that it's marketed for men, but we shall see because you know, these rack stores has been labeling and placing these fragrances in the wrong areas on and off in my area at least uh as far as like you know local rack stores at least in my area but uh yeah enough talk let's just get into it and voila here is the bottle mm-hmm mm-hmm yo this smells nice as well however it does smell familiar too it does smell familiar to something that I already have, but give me a moment to figure out what it is because it's a lot of different aspects of fragrances that I have in my collection already that smells like this one, if not better. But it's nonetheless, it smells like this. Whatever the, those fragrances are, I'm trying to think on what it is. While I'm thinking though, this smells very, very fruity and spicy and smooth, not too harsh. Fruity, spicy, and warm, like a warm spicy. You know, that mass appealing, compliment pulling type, compliment pulling type of a sweetness that you would expect out of a fragrance you would get in here. Familiar, yes. It's that same sweet bubble gummy type of a smell that you will get in a, a, a typical type of a uh, compliment, complimenting factor of a fragrance you will get in here. I can only think of one fragrance that this fragrance uh, smells like, and it's a uh, rack store cheapie as well from the House of Banana Republic. It is Cardivan Vintage. It smells similar to this. This one is a little bit more harsher Little bit on a cheap smell inside, but it still smells, smells fantastic and I do like it. But if you would compare these two, this is a little bit more well-rounded version of this one. It smells a little bit more better, a little bit more fruitier, sweet, warm, spicier, and richer than this one. So I will I will take this one over this one in terms of you know the way that it smells. And I'm pretty sure this will perform a lot better than this one. First impression, it could change as I give this some warrant if I decide not to take it back. But I do like this, I really do. This fragrance also reminds me of, from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier, this is Le Beau, the EDT. It reminds me of this one, not entirely, but it takes a aspect out of this one in terms of that tropical, you know, fruity, warm spiciness that you probably would get out of here. You get in that, which is, this one. So it reminds me of those two fragrances, which is not bad at all because I do dig both of these, this one and the Banana Republic. But this one right so far smells really, really nice. I might keep this in my collection. I might not because it is familiar. And there's other fragrances that I have that is like dominating this in terms of the profile that it's given off. You know, that sweet, typical, familiar, sweet bubblegummy type of, uh, you know, character of a fragrance. I got a lot of fragrances that does gets the job done a lot better than this one. So if you don't have uh, like a like a sweet bubblegummy type of a fragrance and you just start an hour or something like that, this would be a great pickup for what, $16 and some change, $17 and some change whatever you uh whatever price that you get this for and i highly recommend on paying not paying that much for it you know but anyway i digress this would be a great pickup if you don't have this uh have a familiar or similar scent profile in your collection already so i'm talking too much on to the next one so up next i got this from uh marshall's and this fragrance i had my eyes on for a few years and this one is very, 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 very dope based on the reviews and the forums that I researched on this. They said that this is pretty 
good. So we're going to see. From the house of Trasardi Parfums. This is uh, Trasardi Umo, if I pronounced that right. Here you go. Here is the gift set that I got it in. So there you go. Here's what it looks like on the back, showing the contents of the gift set. And the gift set opens up beautifully like this. I love how this bottle looks, black and gold. And this thing is hard to get out of the gift set, which is why I hate gift sets, but I am so curious on how good this smells based off of other people saying how good that it smells, but my God, I can't get this out of this box. Oh my goodness, finally. I'm confused. Wait a minute. I'm a little confused on how this smells. And I say that in a good way because I haven't smelled like, I haven't smelled anything like this in my collection at all. This is a very unique smelling scent. And this is really, really blowing my mind to smithereens into pieces on top of pieces on top of pieces. Yo. This here, this is not going anywhere. This is not going anywhere. I'm telling you right now, the way that this smells, it smells so unique, y'all. Y'all about to get me started. This smells so unique smelling. This smells like, not. Nah, it doesn't smell like any fragrance that I have in my collection right now. Oh my goodness. The smell is indescribable. I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to start. This, it smells like this fragrance is just simply like, wow. It smells like, like a clean yet powdery, silky, smooth, like black suede kind of a velvet masculine dressed up type of a scent i could be way off because i haven't looked the notes up yet on this i could be way off on how it smells but to my nose that's what it smells like it has an undescribable type of a smell to me and it, it, that it smells so 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 well put so 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 well crafted and blended together with whatever notes that's in here it smells amazing. Just to let you know, this here is here to stay. When I walked into my local Marshalls, I think I got this at TJ Maxx. Yeah, I got this at TJ Maxx. Yep, TJ Maxx. $50 and some change. Walked into TJ Maxx and I was about to leave and didn't even care to even look around anymore because I didn't see anything. But I saw this and immediately I was brought to my remembrance of what everybody was saying about this fragrance like, you know, a couple of years ago on how great it smells. So I hurried up and snagged it without hesitation. And the rumors and the hype that I saw is definitely real and definitely legit on this one. Me personally, I just enjoy this so much. And I haven't even given a full wearing yet. You know, it's not, a, so far it's not a beast, which is a bummer, and it doesn't have to be. And I think if, if it, this was to be a, a, a beast, it would be annoying. So based on the scent profile, it is sitting where it needs to be. Either, either an intimate or an intimate to average scent or just an all around average scent. Haven't tested it yet, but this here is amazing. I don't know if you guys will find this in your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls because this was the only one that they had in stock on the shelf. If you're interested in this, look for it in your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I got this at TJ Maxx. So look there first because I hope that whoever is watching, you know, that is interested in this, I hope you find this. Because this is, man, 
I got no words in a good way. I got no words. So let's revisit the ones that I sprayed on me. Let's start back with uh, this Kenneth Cole. As it completely dries down, you know, that familiarity to Savage and Blue de Chanel, it went away quite fast. You know, that familiarity to those two fragrances basically is only noticeable in the opening on my skin. But when it dries down, you smell like this deep blue, like Ozaro Chrome type of a, uh, aspect of a fragrance, which is not that bad because I do like Ozaro Chrome and I do love the way that it smells. So taking that and making it like a more deep bluish type of a powdery scent of that, of that fragrance, this joint is jumping. I like this. I like it big time. Though it does sit close to your skin, it does. And you know, it's intimate, you know, it's not weak though, it's not dissipating, it's not like, you know, if the wind blows, it'll leave off your skin. It's, it's hanging in there intimately. So this would be a good intimate scent, a good date night scent, if you will. As I go back to this one though, as it completely dry down, this smells amazing. You know, that familiarity that I said that it smells like, you know, in terms of those two fragrances that I've told you that it reminded me of, it, that, those two, those two fragrances kind of withered away. That familiarity of those two fragrances withered away a lot. And if, and you're left with this bold, warm and spicy, fruity, grapefruit type of a scent, which is very, very nice. You know what? I will be keeping this too. I like this. For the price that it went for, this is a steal. I'll be keeping this one. And last but not least, Trasardi Umo. This, when this completely dries down, it still come, it still maintains that same scent profile, that same opening that I get that's dope. And like that same dope opening, it still stays on my skin. Transition to something a little bit more different, but that same captivity that drew me in in the beginning of this fragrance initially is still there hanging and hanging on, not hanging on for dear life, but it's still hanging in there. And it's just, <laughs> this is amazing. I'm definitely appreciated for what it's doing on my skin. It's, this is, man, if you can find this anywhere for a good price, get it, please. Man, man. So that's all that I have for Scent Talk TV, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, you know what to do. You got to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there and be blessed. And have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace.